Hello, welcome to Evolve with Natu. I am Natu, your friendly host. Today, I'm taking you on a special journey to our family farm, or as we Tanzanians affectionately refer them as Shamba or Shambani, which basically means where the Shamba is located. Growing up, my parents were recreational farmers, and my siblings and I often helped out with tasks like planting, weeding, harvesting, my not so favorite. And you're probably asking why. Well, I was born with eczema, and I think eczema and harvestings just don't go hand in hand. My mom might beg to differ, but hey, that's a discussion for another day. So over the years, my parents' uh, recreational farming has definitely scaled up, and my parents are always keen to involve my siblings and I on their farms and the projects that they have. But because I had such a negative experience with harvesting, I didn't really care for farming and every holiday, whenever my parents ask me if I want to visit either one of the farms, I'll just politely say no. So it came as a shock, a surprise when I expressed interest without being forced, without being coerced to go see one of the farms. I politely just told my dad, hey Baba, ningependa kuona moja ya mashamba. And he was so excited, he made sure he tended to that request ASAP. So mid-morning, after breakfast, my mom, dad, my cousin Hassan and I set off. This particular farm is approximately 15 to 20 minutes from where we lived. But our first stop was at the shop to get me some proper farm gear. Apparently, Viatuviango just didn't cut it for the shamber. My dad was like, yeah, sneakers and this shamber? No, it's not going to work. We need to get you boots. And I was skeptical because I wear shoe size 10, 11 girls. And I was like, yeah, they're not going to have my size. And this just shows how clueless I am, Diamani. Because boots are unisex <laughs> and they definitely had my shoe size. So we got me boots and we were now ready to go to the farm. Or so I thought. On our way there, I saw a snack shop or a cafe rather. And I convinced my parents to stop because I wanted to get me some samosas. Fun fact, I think Moroboro samosas are the best samosas. Or as we call them here in Tanzania, sambusa. They are the best sambusas in the whole world. If you disagree, please go argue with your mama, go argue with your grandmama, do not argue with me. And my parents are listening to this clip, they're listening to this voiceover, so I have to keep it cute. Anywho, so I got me some samosas and now I was ready to go to the shamba. So this particular shamba is located in a place called Mikese. Imagine I had forgotten <laughs> Mikese because I actually don't go there quite often. As mentioned, it was my very first time visiting it and I was excited to see what was happening there. So I found out that my parents have planted all sorts of crops and trees. But for today's discussion, we're going to particularly focus on my dad's pride and joy, his teak and eucalyptus trees. Another fun fact, my dad is a forest and soil scientist, so he sees these trees as his long-term investment for the future. And I agree, even though he doesn't think he will live long enough to see them come to fruition. Anywho, of course, this farm has more than just trees. It has other trees also, like fruit trees rather, like papayas, lemons, bananas, as well as rotational crops such as maize, cassava. This just ensures that we have a variety of harvests throughout the year. Even though thanks to global warming, climate change and a whole lot of other things, the crop yield over the years has definitely dwindled, not only in Tanzania, but globally. Anywho, back to the farm. This particular farm is looked after by a local gentleman, Boga, um, and he's been living in this area. I think he was born here and lives here. He makes sure he keeps my parents updated, whether during their in-person visits or a phone call on what's happening on the farm, what's needed to happen. He's become a dear friend and a family member at this point. And not only does he update my parents on what's going on in the farm, but he ensures every visit is fruitful. And for today's visit, he made sure that we're leaving with goodies, bananas freshly harvested from the farm. That said, it's been fun telling you about our farm and telling you about my experience. And I hope I hope you thought I was going to be <laughs> farming. No, my days of farming are over. But I hope you enjoyed coming along on this journey with me. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.